Hey everybody, Joshua here on the YouTubes, and I've done a lot of videos about reasons you might think about moving to Asheville, North Carolina, but today I thought I'd do the five things that you might not know about Asheville, North Carolina before you decide to move here. Now I talk to people all the time about housing and hiking and culture and weather and those sorts of things in Asheville, and I love doing it. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My information is down below. Call, email, text me anytime. We can discuss anything you want in your housing search but without further ado five things you might not know about Asheville number five Asheville is expensive relatively if you go on Google right now and you search Asheville, North Carolina, and then go down to that question area with questions people are asking, probably the number one question is, is Asheville expensive to live in? And yes, relative to other parts of the country and relative to the state in general, but maybe not relative to your financial situation or the town that you come from. The bottom line is we might be able to find you something in your price range by going outside of Asheville or different areas of Asheville. So is Asheville expensive? Yes. Yes, relatively. Number four, Asheville's weather is unpredictable. Now my wife and I have two different weather apps on two different phones and on any given day we get two different forecasts and on any given day those forecasts are wrong. Now Asheville has a beautiful four season climate. It's uh, pretty stable. We don't have the highs, super highs and super lows that other areas have, but it is still unpredictable. And I'm no meteorologist, believe it or not, but I believe it has something to do with the mountains and the elevations. So sometimes you'll get a forecast for six inches of snow overnight and you wake up in the morning and there's no snow and it's 45 degrees. Or conversely, you'll drive down the road and it's raining and 15 minutes later it's snowing. So it's just something to keep an eye on and especially if you're planning on buying or building higher up in elevation, your weather might be unpredictable. Number three, there is wildlife in Asheville. Now this isn't Montana, you're not gonna see a moose walking down Main Street or go up in the mountains and see a mountain lion or a wolf or a bear eating an elk but there is wildlife. We do get bears and coyotes and rattlesnakes and smaller things like raccoons. I get the question all the time, have you seen bears before in Asheville? I see bears all the time in Asheville. But if you're respectful and you understand that they're more afraid of you than you are of them, you're never gonna have any problems. Number two, Asheville is weird. Now people come out here all the time to visit and they're not sure if they wanna move here and they wanna take a look around and they go downtown and go shopping or go to some breweries and then I meet up with them and they say to me all the time, you would not believe what I saw downtown. Well, first of all, I would believe it. Asheville is weird. If you're moving here and you're thinking that this town is like the town that you're moving from, you're probably gonna be disappointed. We have a cross section of all types of people that move here for all types of reasons. And if you go downtown on a Saturday afternoon, you're probably gonna see something you've never seen before. But if you keep an open mind, you're gonna enjoy it here. And if it's not what you're looking for, we can always move out to towns right around Asheville that are a little more laid back and might be a little more what you're looking for. Number one, Asheville is pretty small. And that's population-wise and area-wise. We're a little less than 100,000 people here. And although we get millions of tourists a year, that population's packed into a pretty small area. And other than south of Asheville, there's not a whole lot of urban sprawl. If you go east, west, north, 15 minutes, you're gonna be in the middle of the country. So what does that mean for you? That means for you looking at stuff, it's not like if you go down to Atlanta and you have Atlanta, and then you have suburb, 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 suburb. You give me a price point, I find the suburbs that fit for you, and we're done. We might have to go into the country, we might have to go to different towns, to fit what you're looking for. So I like to flip the script a little bit and see what your vision is. What is your vision when you walk out on your front porch? What is your vision when you drive down the road? What do you not wanna see when you drive down the road? What are the amenities you're looking for? And what are the amenities that aren't important to you? Then we can pinpoint specific areas that might be good for you. And from that point on, we can find a home or a piece of property that might be good for you. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you want more information on Asheville, homes, hiking, that sort of thing, check out my other videos. Hit the subscribe button and the bell thingy so you get notifications. And also, I'll have information down in the notes on what we talked about. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.